hi guys and welcome to my channel happy summer to all of you so today i have my assistants and we're going to do a fabric haul i've got quite a few fabrics that i have added to my collection that i'm super excited to share with you guys um say hello hello <laughs> Uh, so I've got some little helpers here. <laughs> uh, okay, so we've got a nice pile of fabrics over here. Beautiful, really awesome. Okay, so can you pass me the first one, please? Okay, so this is a fabric that I got for my friend Josie, who YouTubes over it. It is Josie. Um, and she gave me this African wax print fabric. It's really fabulous, isn't it? Okay. So, let's see. Can we move back a bit? Okay. Here. So, it's a super epic panel print. I like that it's got a border. And it's got this bright orange. And it's got another border. So, I'm thinking I want to make a skirt out of it. Yeah. You can make me an eye skirt. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I could also make them a skirt. Yeah. Or if I make a skirt, then when you're old, when you're big enough, you'll be able to wear the skirt. Yeah, oh, because yeah. us, uh, our own skirts when we get bigger. Yes. So I, I will make a skirt out of this. I will okay. make a skirt out of this. Okay, right, let's see the next fabric. So that was this. Thank you so much, Josie. I need to use this. Um, this is one of those things I promise myself I'll use soon. Okay, all right. That's um, a Christmas one. Yes, it is. You guys will be so proud of me. I'm actually planning ahead with my Christmas sewing for once. So for December, I plan on doing a vlogmas. And about part Christmas of, sewing. About Christmas sewing, exactly, amongst other things. So, in preparation for that, um, I've already got some Christmas fabric. So, I have this lovely cotton poplin, which is Christmas baubles, pinks and greens. I, um, I really like this. I have to make, I don't know, maybe some sort of a dress or a shirt yeah, you, out of it. You can make a skirt out of it. A skirt, yeah, I could do. What would you make out of it, Adi? I would make a dress. A dress. Okay, so there we go. So we can get you to see it. So it's lovely. Christmassy, yeah. but not too sunny. <laughs> okay, and uh, then also my husband doesn't have anything that's sort of like Christmassy attire wise. Uh, so we're going to make a shirt for him using this red reindeer. Stag. Is it re yeah, reindeer stags fabric. It's a cotton poplin, so it's got quite a nice drape to it. But look at how majestic those. Yeah. yeah. I, I wonder how they create that on there. I wonder. It's got some snowflakes on. It's got some Yay. snowflakes as well, as you just pointed out. They're gold snowflakes. And there's different ones, like Let's that see. and that. Uh-huh. There's a circle one and a pointy one. And a pointy one, yeah. yeah. So we have uh, two and a half meters to work with. I mean, I almost wish I could make a shirt dress for me out of this, but mm. I did promise my husband a shirt already. So, yeah, we go. Mm. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. And then we have John Calder crepe fabric in orange. Now, I bought this because I love the purple colorway of this fabric. I made a dress earlier this year using this crepe fabric in purple. And so when I saw it at sewbox.co.uk, they had a remnant piece. And it was literally the only place on the interwebs where I could find this. I got it in the orange as well. And I love I it. You got it. They the only cake. had no. It's only in the orange. They only had a meter and a half. But I think I can make and myself purple. a nice they shift dress. But cute. yeah. Mommy. Mm. Orange crepe. Beautiful, beautiful yeah. drape. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's our crepe over there. This is <laughs> the next one after. Okay. This is the next one after this. This can um, be this. Um, this can be like um a. Beautiful day one, like the summer, 
Okay. I'll send me some of day one too. Okay, all right. Well, you can do those ones for me after I finish doing this one. Okay. All right. Up next, one. we have a Lady McElroy jersey, too, which is like a fun okay. purple print. Okay. Purple oh, cheetah print. Yes. Um, oh, yeah. So it's I actually quite mushy. Can you see how see-through it is? It is quite see-through, yeah. so I whatever see I make with this, I have yeah. to probably line it, no, possibly, or I can use it as lining. I, don't know. I have about four meters to play it's, with um, no, it's for this, so no. yeah, but I like the colors, which you can see when you sort of come up close. It's like pinks and oranges with a black one. Okay, all right, now... We're just going to start off with Juju because no, she's no, right here. No. Okay. <laughs> and then you'll get a turn straight up to Juju. I want to do the rose one. Okay, you can do the rose one next. Then. Okay, so Juju is going to show us the next one. So this is um a, um like sunflower one, which is good for sunny days. Uh-huh. You can come over here. Because it's got some little daisies as well. Yeah, it's got daisies. For, well, I need to take the right. Well, there's mm -hmm. also some more that have been picked out. Mm -hmm. Some dates and flowers. Mm -hmm. Well, I like them. Um, <laughs> it's pink. It's bright pink. It's bright pink and it's quite good to make them um, for um, cemeteries and for dresses and skirts uh -huh. and jumpers. Um, yeah, dresses and skirts, definitely. Now, I bought this from Abakan Fabrics in uh, Outreach, um, Manchester. We're doing a video. Okay, Tini, we'll be done soon. <laughs> no sandals upstairs. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, like I said, guys, this is summer holidays, so my kids are around helping me out with stuff. All right, so I bought this from uh, Hobbycraft. No, not Hobbycraft. Abakan Fabrics in Outreach, um, uh, Manchester. It was a very interesting so shopping experience because they they sell them by the kilo, um, and that was quite interesting. And I can't. I think that this was. We can't wait to make something out of this. Yes, we can't. We need to use it this summer, basically. Yeah, we need uh -huh. to. Okay, now Adi. <laughs> <laughs> and the on the back. Uh -huh. Which one are you doing? Uh, mm -hmm. Are you going to do the rose one? I thought you said you wanted to do the rose I one. I want to do the rose one. Okay. And uh, then that one. Oh, okay. So, this is a rose one. It is so beautiful and it's so <laughs> stretchy. And I'm actually wanting a dress made out of that. Okay, come and stand over here. I'm um, absolutely worried about to hats. Make that. Well, yeah, we could make hats. I really want a dress made out of this. Uh huh. It's very stretchy. And yeah. It's really stretchy, but I want my other stretchy flower dress. Yeah, I got this from So Essential, um, and it's a really beautiful quality digital print fabric. What I like about this is. Um, I don't know, I think it must have been about four, uh, five or six years ago, Dolce and Cabana were doing kind of like this, um, the, the deep red uh, rose motif. And, and, and I've got a lot of pins on Pinterest with some of their runway looks where they've got like this sort of fabric. So when I saw it, I was just like, yeah, I'm going to get that. And um, we'll be making dresses out of this mostly for me. And then me <laughs> and you, yes, and then for you I'm, as well. I'm gonna get this but, sunflower one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. And then up next we've got um viscose fabric. Uh, and this one is from Abacan. Flowers and stickers. Mm-hmm. And it's really beautiful. Mm-hmm. It's, well, it's a not as beautiful drape. as my one I chose. It's no, not, it's not, not a competition, girls. Not a competition. Not a competition. <laughs> But we have, um, I, I think, I measured it out and I think it's about two and a half meters because when you actually get them from Abakan, I don't know whether it was that I didn't notice it, but it wasn't clear to me what the meterage was, you know, which, which, which was quite an interesting experience. But for these two, 
pieces of fabric when they weighed them out it came up came up to 14 or 16 pounds for the two of them but yeah so this one's quite see-through as well um but it's a that's a beautiful it's fabric cool. okay and then uh, finally we have a solid <laughs> i don't normally deal in solids but <laughs> I am going to be dipping my toes in that and I'll explain about that in another video it's got to do with my two-week trip to Italy and spending quite a lot of time in Milan which is one of the fashion capitals of the world and how I was just inspired but I have here a Robert Kaufman is that pronounced correctly Kaufman Kaufman I don't know it's a Robert Kaufman thing links will be in the description box so if I totally slaughter the pronunciation you can always get the correct one down there but it's a denim chambre in indigo. Oh, lighting is really bad. It looks black in here, but it's actually a really deep blue. It's a really deep blue. Um, now, I did do... Guys, they can't hear me if you're giggling in the background. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so... Come on, guys. Uh, okay, so this is like a really deep dyed indigo denim and I did a smocking test on it where I take like a white uh, tissue paper that's slightly damp and then I rub it on there and if the just and this is basically to see if it transfers any color and it did transfer any, uh, some color so that means that for pre-washing I have to keep on washing this until the water runs clear. Um, but yeah, I have three meters to play around with this and uh, I've been watching a lot of um, these chambray dresses that have got like den um, top stitching. I know I might go self-drafted. I might use one of the Vogue designer patterns. I will see. Um, okay, so that is my fabric haul um, for this summer. A holiday and I'm quite pleased with myself because I was totting up the numbers and so far this year I have been sewing more than I have been buying and adding to the fabric collection which is good and so if I keep at this rate in another I think maybe 20 to 25 years or so I should have a much much smaller fabric collection so that's no different to a mortgage really so I think that you know I can keep at the rate that I'm going at <laughs> thank you so much for tuning in I hope that you've enjoyed the video if you did do give it a big thumbs up down below and if you haven't already do subscribe I put out content every week or so and until we see you next time guys. goodbye happy sewing. happy sewing goodbye happy sewing Bye. 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 <laughs> I'm scared of